In this video, we are going to talk about how to plan a family trip to Italy. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Italy has all you might want in a multi-generational vacation spot. Adults will enjoy beautiful old cities, wonderful restaurants, and vineyards, while children will enjoy pizza, gelato, beaches, and plenty of piazzas to run around in. It's a welcome and appealing environment for everyone, from babies to grandparents, thanks to beautiful weather and a family-first mentality. These are the things you'll need to arrange a family trip to Italy. In the south of Europe, Italy is a long, boot-shaped peninsula. Italy is surrounded on three sides by the Mediterranean Sea and has land borders with France, Switzerland, Austria, and Slovenia in the north. The north, middle, and south of Italy are all served by international airports. Rome Leonardo da Vinci Airport, SEO, Milan Malpensa, MXB, Venice Marco Polo, Visi, and Catania Fontana Rosa are the largest and most convenient airports in Italy for travelers, CTA. Rome's airport is the most centrally placed and convenient airport for visiting Rome, the Amalfi Coast, and Tuscany. The Dolomites, Lake Garda, Lake Como, and Cinque Terre, as well as Venice and Milan, are all accessible via Milan and Venice airports, which serve the north of Italy. If you wish to visit Sicily, Catania's airport is the finest option. Although Italy may be visited all year, there are four different seasons. Depending on the time of year you visit, your experience will be different. The ideal periods to visit Italy for sightseeing are in the spring and fall. The weather is temperate throughout this time, allowing you to tour towns and historical sites without the oppressive heat of summer or the frigid temperatures and frequent rain of winter. Tourists flock to the area in May, June, September, and October, thus reservations are required. Summer is the perfect time to explore the Dolomites, Cinque Terre, and Amalfi Coast for a sea and sun holiday, June-August. This is the time when all trails and tourism services are fully operational. Summer is peak season in Italy, with both foreigners and Italians having vacations. Advance reservations are required. The majority of travelers fly into Italy and then travel about by car or train. Both are good choices, and you should choose your decision based on your travel plans. Italy's trains are superb, and they are the greatest way to see the cities and the Cinque Terre. Small children travel for free, and there are family discounts that make traveling by train with your family simple. Traveling by automobile is the ideal method to see the top spots to visit in Tuscany, the Dolomites, the Amalfi Coast, and the South, including Sicily. Those coming from the United States who are used to driving on freeways should be aware that driving in Italy will take some getting used to. You will be driving on the Italian autostrade, or highways, for considerable miles. They are quite simple to use. Things change after you leave the autostrade and enter the cities. Non-resident cars are prohibited from entering most town centers, and violators face stiff penalties. However, street signs are frequently ambiguous, and many of the horror stories about Italian fines stem from people driving where they shouldn't. In tourist locations of Italy, English is widely spoken. However, you will need Italian for the majority of your daily encounters, shops, small goose houses, restaurants etc. A few words of Italian can go a long way. Many people can understand English if spoken slowly, but they can only respond in Italian. Expect a lack of fluency. The euro is Italy's currency, and using local ATMs is the best way to receive cash when traveling, Bancomat, in Italian. Credit cards are accepted for larger purchases, however cash is king and little banknotes are favored for daily costs, souvenirs, and small amounts, under 50 euro. Pickpockets, who are often active in busy areas, are best avoided by simply carrying a limited quantity of cash on you at any given moment. It is mandatory to carry identification in Italy at all times, thus a body pouch that can be hidden beneath your garments or a hidden pocket in a crossbody bag are useful. Although Italy is not a particularly dangerous country, it is prudent to avoid flashing credit cards, jewelry, or expensive equipment and to always carry your day bag. Italy has a good healthcare system, and everyone, regardless of nationality, has access to emergency care. Health services are not free for travelers, however they are generally inexpensive. You may be able to get compensated at home, depending on where you are from, EU citizens. The national emergency number is 118, and the country has large networks of hospitals and general practitioners. 
For local expats and visitors, tourist destinations and large cities sometimes have English-speaking doctors. Because healthcare is administered at a regional level, the facilities and appointment scheduling systems will differ based on your area. Family-friendly activities in Italy. In Rome, sightseeing. Rome is a beautiful city with attractions for people of all ages. Attractions in Rome such as the Colosseum, Pantheon, and Piazza Navona are accessible to people of all ages. In Rome, there is a wide range of housing options, so you're likely to find a hotel that can accommodate children, parents, and grandparents. Explore Venice. Venice is a fascinating destination that appeals to people of all ages. The easiest way to see the city is to walk around its lovely center and take advantage of the city's many vaporini water buses. They're entertaining for kids and make traveling around a breeze. Take advantage of a Tuscan agriturismo. Tuscany is a beautiful Italian region featuring traditional Italian little towns, Florence, Siena, hilltop villages, and breathtaking scenery. Long meals in a local agriturismo are advised for families with children and grandparents. These are open-air farm homes that serve as restaurants, educational farms, and goose houses, and are ideal for a multi-generational vacation. Relax in Garda Lake. Lake Garda, located near Venice and Verona, boasts picturesque villages ideal for sightseeing as well as some of Italy's top theme parks, Gardaland is here. There are numerous family-friendly lodging alternatives as well as cycling and hiking activities. This is the ideal area in Italy if you want your children to be active while your grandparents relax. Consider taking a culinary lesson. Italian cuisine is well known across the world, and Italians are eager to teach you how to prepare it at home. In Italy, cooking classes are a popular activity for people of all ages. Visitors can learn how to create traditional Italian dishes in either a home or restaurant environment. This is a fantastically entertaining and educational way to create lasting family experiences in Italy. Recommended Italian Family Restaurants Restaurants abound in Italy, and children are frequently welcome. Lola on Via Flamine in Rome is a fantastic family-friendly restaurant that both children and adults will enjoy. It boasts a large variety of traditional Italian cuisine as well as a lovely terrace with a playground. Dolphin, Venice, charming neighborhood eatery serving both traditional Venetian cuisine and pizza. The restaurant includes high chairs for tiny children, as well as vegan and gluten-free alternatives, making it ideal for families with a variety of needs. Accommodations for large groups in Italy Villas Private villas are an excellent alternative for family groups visiting Italy since they provide complete privacy and ample indoor and outdoor space to spend time together without feeling crowded. The regions of Tuscany and Umbria in Italy have the most villas available. Hotels slash Alberghi Hotels of diverse types and sizes can be found throughout Italy. Inquire about accessibility if you're traveling with tiny children or grandparents who have mobility concerns. Older hotels may lack an elevator or have lesser rooms. In terms of amenities, large international hotels are usually the most accessible. Vacation rentals and aims. Airbnb is popular in Italy and can be a wonderful option if you plan on staying in one place for several nights. Accessibility could be a problem. If you're traveling in the summer, make sure to inquire about air conditioning and whether the flat has steps or a lift. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.